Okay, so um, we have ended yesterday. We have ended here. There are three broad classes of multiple access protocols. What was multiple access protocol? Anybody? What What is a multiple access protocol? What is meant by multiple access protocol? Multiple access means what? Giving access to the media to multiple devices, right? So multiple devices needs to get access. But as we know, if more than one device accesses at the same time, transmits at the same time, then there is a possibility of collision. So that is multiple access control protocol. And there were three classes. One is channel partitioning, where the bandwidth or total resource is divided into a smaller pieces. For example, time slots, frequency, and code. And uh, then each piece will be allocated to a particular node. And the allocation will be exclusive. That means dedicated. So the advantage is there is no possibility of collision and disadvantage is what less utilization. Then there was random access where there is no coordination among the nodes. Anybody, any node has data to send, can send any time. Uh, so the advantage is there is no need for dividing the resource or no need for coordination so the utility uh, utilization will be higher but the disadvantage is since there is no coordination if more than one node sends simultaneously there is possible collision or interference so random access protocols must recover from must uh, define a mechanism to recover from collisions but uh, in wired LAN, it is known that the most efficient protocol is random access protocol. And we will study one that is CSMSCD later today. And the third and final category is taking turns. So numbering the nodes so that uh, nodes will uh, get access according to their schedule. And there will be rounds. In each round, a node will get one uh, chance. But again, the advantage is there will be no collision. And the disadvantage is if there, uh, there is a node with uh, more data to send, we'll need to wait for many number of rounds. So any multiple access protocol must be within one of these three categories. So channel partitioning already we have uh studied in chapter one fdma tdma random access one example we will learn uh today later uh that is csmscd and taking turns is almost obsolete now so we'll not read any protocol from taking turns so that was uh the ending of yesterday's lecture now we will study start from here so this is uh, example of channel partitioning MAC protocols that is TDMA as you can see time division multiple access so the total frequency total uh, bandwidth or resource will be divided into a number of time slots and the total number of time slots that means the total number of slots per uh, is uh, organized in a frame uh, in this example, as you can see, there is a six station land. Six station land means what? Every station will get one particular slot. So there will be six slots. Uh, but uh, as you can see in the example, some slots might be idle. So that is the problem with channel partitioning. If a slot is idle, that means that particular node will not have any data to send. But it's still, the resource will be dedicated. So that is the problem. And also in FDMA, the frequency will be divided among the stations. Uh, the same thing can happen here. 
a frequency range is dedicated to a particular node but the node has no data to send in that case uh, the resource will be wasted then random access protocol how it works if there is no coordination so when a particular node has packets to send it will transmit at the at the full channel data rate r so since there is no dividation of resources into pieces when a node transmits it will avail the entire bandwidth no a priori coordination among nodes but the problem is two or more transmitting nodes the result is a collision and if a collision happens then a random access mac protocol must specify how to detect collisions and after detecting collisions definitely how to recover from collisions because at the packet to the loss hoy tale shei packet ta kintu abar retransmit korte hobe ekta common jinish tomader mathay rakhte hobe any multiple access for any multiple access protocol if a packet is lost that packet must be retransmitted how a packet can be lost okay error how error there can be multiple nodes sending simultaneously mone koro ekta node 1500 byte pathacche ar ekta node 1500 byte pathacche but ekta node oi frame tar 1400 byte pathanor pore ar ekta node start korlo for example tahole ki hobe 1400 byte kintu chole gelo then interference starts then collision starts but jeta tomader ke bujhte hobe even if 1400 bytes already received by the receiver that is useless that is useless so if a node fails to send the entire frame the whole 1500 bytes for example even before the last byte collision happened the entire frame will be damaged and the entire frame must be retransmitted okay so that is the idea of collision the number of the number of uh, more number of collisions the network performance will be worse so not only network performance will be worse the protocol must handle how to recover from collisions that means how that particular frame will be sent successfully delay jotoi hok successfully ultimately oi frame ta pathate hobe that is the idea of random access protocol for example aloha slotted aloha tumra ki data communication course e gulo korecho ar aloha slotted aloha computer science e jara asho na sir acha e gulo kora hoyni na sir e gulo kora hoyni triple e jara kono course e peyecho e gulo aloha slotted aloha e gulo ashole onek onek মানে ইনফিসিয়েন্ট বাট ভেরি ভেরি প্রিমিটিভ প্রোটোকলস বাট দি র্যান্ডম অ্যাক্সেস স্টার্টেড ফ্রম দোজ প্রোটোকলস এগুলো খুব ইনফিসিয়েন্ট ছিল ঠিক আছে বাট সেগুলো থেকে আসলে র্যান্ডম অ্যাক্সেস প্রোটোকলগুলো আসছে দেন ফর এভরি ভার্সন এভরি ভার্সন মডিফাইড ভার্সন লাইক স্লটেড আলোহা ইজ এ মডিফাইড ভার্সন অফ আলোহা csma is a modified version of slotted aloha okay csma cd and csma ca are modified versions from csma so it is continuously being modified so you know ei dhoroner onek shomoy dekha jay je hoyto kono na kono korche tomader power kotha ba na pelo somoshya nei karon eigulo onek ager protocol but uh, these are the examples of random access protocol but we will study only csma cd that is uh used in wired lan there is another protocol csma ca that is used in wireless lan okay ca cd is for collision detection and ca is for collision avoidance so wireless networks actually avoid collision rather than detect collision so we will study only csma cd now let us start from csma what is csma carrier sends multiple access see what is mean by carrier sends carrier sends means sends means any device intending to to send a particular packet or data must sense the carrier first what is the carrier the media if the media is busy that means someone else is transmitting right so it will not transmit it will wait 
that is the idea of cs and what is the idea of ma that is multiple access so carrier sense and definitely it is for mul access for multiple devices so it is called carrier sense multiple access okay now how it works very simple if channel is uh, idle then transmit frame but once it starts to transmit it must transmit the entire frame and it is not possible to know beforehand whether or not the channel will be free for the total time, right? Ekta frame pathate jay pori man shumoy lage, shay total shumoy ta free thakbe ki na, eta janar kono shujog nai. So that's why still collision can happen. We will see shortly how collision can still happen. Because if carrier is sensed, collision should not happen, right? If channel is idle, then only send the frame. If channel is busy, then defer transmission. That is, then don't transmit. Wait for the time when channel becomes free. So what is the human analogy? Don't interrupt others. If I am talking, please don't talk. If someone else is talking, I will stop. So that is the idea of CSMA. So collision ki hobe? Ki mona hai? Jodi carrier sense kora hai, collision ki hor kotha? Sir, the carrier sense before transmit. I am the carrier sense before transmit. I am going to tell you about the carrier sense before transmit. I am going to tell you about the carrier sense before transmit. I am going to tell you about the carrier sense before transmit. I am going to tell you about the carrier sense before the একটা নোডে চার ধরনের ডিলে পড়ছিলাম মনে আছে প্রসেসিং ডিলে দেন স্যার প্যাকেট প্যাকেট লস না প্যাকেট লস না ডিলে অনলি ডিলে देयर আর ফোর টাইপস অফ ডিলে রাইট প্রসেসিং ডিলে কিউইং ডিলে দেন ট্রান্সমিশন ডিলে এন্ড দেন প্রপাগেশন ডিলে রাইট দিস প্রপাগেশন এন্ড আউট অফ দোজ প্রপাগেশন ডিলে অ্যাকচুয়ালি ডিপেন্ডেন্ট অন ফিজিক্যাল প্রপার্টিজ অফ দা মিডিয়া so to me to the uh, uh, optical fiber a chinta coro it is very fast to me to the utp kota chinta coro compared to optical fiber it is slower so it depends on the physical properties of the particular media now even after carrier sense collision can still happen why okay before that what is cg what is the second part of the protocol only csma simple csma then there is another part called cd collision detection is added okay so uh, even after even we use uh, okay one more thing okay even we use uh, carrier sense collision can still happen because of pro uh, propagation delay because maybe two nodes are separated by a sufficient amount of distance then it is not always possible for one node to be confirmed that other, no, all other nodes are not transmitting. Amon hote pare jo onik dure ekta node transmission shuru korsse, but ekono tar kache ashe nai hote pare na because of the propagation delay. In that case, je dure je node ta she jodi dekhe je channel idle she transmission shuru korte pare, but after very short amount of time, both of their uh, bits or signals will collide. If a part of the packet collides, then the entire packet will be damaged. Tumi jodi koi ekta bit jodi tomar damage hoy. Thermonational entire packet is damaged. So in that case, collision can still happen. So what we do, we just add one extra mechanism with the CSMA. That is the second part. CSMA oblique CD. CD means collision detection. So we cannot prevent collision in wired network. We cannot. So what we, we will allow collision, but then what CSMA CD will do it will detect the collision within a shortest possible time. So whenever it detects, if signal collided with someone else, how this is detected, that is the property of hardware, that is the property of circuit. That is, a, that is uh, uh, the uh, co uh, comparing the signal strength of the signal transmitted and the signal received. Duta signal, jodi signal strength, eki shepai, 
ड 100 bytes transmitted or 1400 bytes transmitted the enter frame will be damaged so transmitting the rest of the packet will be wasted so what csma cd does as early as it detected a collision it aborts transmission it stops transmission reducing channel wastes but that is not enough then it has to uh do it has to implement a mechanism so that that particular frame or packet can be transmitted ultimately right that must happen doesn't matter how how much delay has occurred so uh, that is the last part of csma cd but one other thing is collision detection as i said how to detect collision wide eta khub sohoj why ekta age bollam karon wide তুমি কানেকশনটা ল্যান্ড কার্ডের পয়েন্টে দিচ্ছ রাইট সো ল্যান্ড কার্ডের পয়েন্টে যখন তুমি কানেকশনটা দিচ্ছ তখন হার্ডওয়্যারের পক্ষে সিগন্যাল স্ট্রেন্থ মেজার করাটা ইজি বাট ইন কেস অফ ওয়ারলেস কেউ কি ওয়ারলেস কমিউনিকেশন কোর্সটা করেছো ট্রিপল ই সিএসি এনিওয়ান বা কোনো কোর্সে ওয়ারলেস কমিউনিকেশনে বেসিকটা পড়েছো ওকে নো প্রবলেম ওয়ারলেস কমিউনিকেশনের ক্ষেত্রে কিন্তু ডেফিনেটলি ট্রান্সমিটারের সিগন্যাল স্ট্রেন্থ উইল বি মাচ হায়ার দেন দ্য রিসিভিং সিগন্যালস স্ট্রেন্থ কারণ কি রিসিভিং সিগন্যাল আসছে অনেক দূর থেকে আসতে আসতে উইক হয়ে গেছে আর ট্রান্সমিটিংটা মাত্র স্টার্ট করছে সো স্ট্রং সো দ্যার ইজ এ লার্জ বিগ ডিফারেন্স বিটুইন ট্রান্সমিটিং পাওয়ার অ্যান্ড রিসিভিং পাওয়ার দ্যাটস ওয়াই ইট ইজ ভেরি ডিফিকাল্ট ইফ নট ইম্পসিবল বাই দ্য হার্ডওয়্যার to detect collision in wireless network so that's why just keep it keep it mind that it is easy in wired network but it is difficult in wireless network that's why csma cd is not collision detection is not used in wireless collision avoidance is used in wireless okay okay so next uh taking turns mac protocol okay taking turns already i have discussed about taking turns Uh, see some of the examples one is called polling so there is a master node and the all other nodes are uh, uh, slave nodes and then this is how it happens so numbering done one then two okay it so the master node will say okay you it is your turn send your data and then the slaves will send data but slaves are basically dumb devices they have uh, only uh, work according to master's uh, command and another one is that was polling right that was a mechanism called polling and another one is token passing so there is a ring uh, actually ring is a uh, uh, media connected all devices right so a token will travel clockwise or anti clockwise round so every node that has data it will insert the data in the token and the receiving node will receive data from the token so that is the way it works but if a node fails the entire ring will be not working so this is how it works okay okay now uh okay csms cd okay we'll learn csma cd later so just uh a little bit back so we have just uh, learned the idea of csma cd now if we have time then we'll go to details otherwise we will not go to details of csma cd so this is all about multiple access protocols now the next thing is address resolution protocol I think in the next lecture in the Wednesday's class 
we will do some uh, hands-on examples today let us uh, <coughs> forward with the theoretical background so that will help us to solve the problems in the next class so uh, to understand address resolution protocol we have to review the concept of IP address and MAC address again so as you already know there is uh, IP version 4 is a 32-bit address it's a network layer address uh, implemented uh, for a, a network layer interface uh, for example, if you uh, connect a PC to a network, you have to give an IP address. If you uh, connect a router with two different networks, you have to give IP address to each of the router interfaces, right? Uh, so that is IP address. Now there is a second address called MAC address or physical address or LAN address or Ethernet address. And this MAC address or physical address actually represents the main entry of the device, the hardware. So it is used locally to get frame from one interface to another physically connected interface in the same subnet. And MAC address is, you know, 48 bits. Uh, and it is burned in the network interface card ROM. So to me, you can buy a LAN card in any show. Tar Mudde Ashole, a 48 bit MAC address built in. Okay. So MAC address is like physical address of a house. একটা হাউজের যখন তুমি মেইলিং অ্যাড্রেস দেখবা দেখবা যে তার হাউস নাম্বারটা কখনোই চেঞ্জ হয় না রাইট যেমন আমাদের ইউআই তে হয়তো এখন 412 নাম্বার রুম হচ্ছে কি সিএসসি ডিপার্টমেন্টের অফিস রাইট 512 নাম্বার রুমটা হচ্ছে ত্রিপলি ডিপার্টমেন্ট অফিস এখন হয়তো দেখা যাবে কোনো একটা সময় পরবর্তীতে মনে করা হলো যে না সিএসসি এর অফিসটা 800 নাম্বার রুমে 801 but UIU is the main building, the house number, right? Should I change away? Should I change away? No. Right? So, MAC address is like that. It's the first level address of a node, of a device. And then, IP address is the secondary level address. But then, why we need to? Because MAC address is required to identify a device within a segment. Within a segment, within UIU, within UIU, CSE department has a fixed address, right? 412. But CSE department is uh, also, uh, the, there are other universities who have CSE department, right? But within the UIU, so when you later a letter, you can see the first time you have house number. So that is like MAC address. House number is the same thing, so you can see the CSE department, the TPOLI department, you can see the UIU. Maybe she's a no university, but on no address. So that is the use of MAC address. Now, the thing is, MAC address is represented in hexadecimal. I think you have already uh, seen that in the first chapter. Now, one common question. When communication starts, suppose to me web browse coach, communication to start hoi kokon. फेसबुक there are some protocols that is running continuously under Windows, under Internet. That is fine. But as a user, what I do to start the whole process is when I give address in the browser, right? Or when I use an application that initiates some communication. When we give IP address of the destination. It can make some people both the body communication starts when we give IP address of the destination. Yes or no? Yes, I'm not both the body. Right. So it it a put me boost the polonic show. Any type of communication. We have learned a lot of things in this course. But when communication starts the very basic level, that is when you give IP address of a destination for any purpose. If you give facebook.com, ultimately you are giving 
the address of Facebook server and then DNS converts that Facebook.com to IP address, right? So it starts when we give the IP address of the destination. Okay, now come to the point. Uh, consider the simple scenario given here. There is a LAN, local area network segment, 137.196.7 slash 24. That means the network address is 137.196.7 and every host will have a unique ID as uh, 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 the left side PC has 23, then uh, the top one has 78, the right one has 14, and the lower, lower one is 88. All of these PCs has the same IP, uh, IP uh, network block, right? Now consider this very simple network. Maybe all these four PCs are connected uh, through hub or switch. Okay, maybe it's hub, maybe it's switch, doesn't matter. What happens? Now don't think about facebook.com now. Just think about we have implemented a very simple segment network like these four hosts. Now, I am using uh, the PC on the left side, 137.196.7.23. And I want to communicate 137.196.7.14. What I will do? Suppose there are some files shared, there are some directories shared in 7.14 PC, and I am accessing from 7.23 PC, right? Amra kibhabe access korte pari. Any idea? <clears throat> Monaco network already done. Network implementation done. Now I want to access 7.14 PC from 7.23. Kibhabe korbo bolo. Tumra ki server 16 use course so you are there? Server 16, Monia se na bhule gaya. Ek bocor hoye Yes, sir, yes. 10.100.100.16, right? What do you use? You use it, right? Right, run IP. We have a lot of software as a software as a But normally, we have Windows to run IP, right? We have to run server 16. Again, your communication started with the IP address of the server 16, right? তাহলে আমি যদি 7.23 থেকে 7.14 এ কমিউনিকেট করতে চাই কি করব বলো এটাই বলবা তাহলে রানে গিয়ে আমি 7.14 দিব सपोज वी आर अश्यूमिंग অল পিসিস আর উইন্ডোজ এগ্রিড সবাই এগ্রিড প্লিজ পার্টিসিপেট ইন্টারঅ্যাক্ট জি স্যার ওকে জি স্যার তাহলে আমরা 7.23 পিসি থেকে আমরা রানে গিয়ে 7.14 দিব সো आवर কমিউনিকেশন উইল স্টার্ট with the destination IP again. Now think. Now think about data link layer. 7.23 will send a packet to 7.14. And in the data link layer in 7.23, 7.23 starts from application layer, then transport, then network, then data link layer of 7.23 will do what? Will create a frame, right? 7.23 already created a packet in network layer with source IP. Source IP 137, 7.23. And with destination IP 137, 7.14. Right? How, how my PC 7.23 knows that? Because we have started our communication with the destination IP. So IP address is already known. But now, 7.23 PC needs to create the frame with a frame header, with a data link header that will contain source MAC and destination MAC. Source MAC is known. How 7.23 will know the destination MAC? This is the question. Did you understand the question? Yes, sir. So before filling up the header in the data link layer, the frame cannot be sent as signals through the physical media.
তোমাদেরকে বুঝতে হবে যে একটা ডাটা ফ্রেমের মধ্যে কোনো ফিল্ড গ্যাপ রেখে সেটাকে পাঠানো যাবে না সো বিফোর ডাটা লিংক ট্রান্সফার্স দা ফ্রেম এজ সিগনালস ইন দা ফিজিক্যাল মিডিয়া ইট মাস্ট কমপ্লিট দা ডাটা লিংক হেডার দ্যাট কন্টেন সোর্স ম্যাক এন্ড ডেস্টিনেশন ম্যাক source mac is known to 7.23 because it's its own land card but how 7.23 will know the destination mac of 7.14 that is the question the answer is address resolution protocol so is it clear that the source knows the destination ip because user gives destination ip but there is no way user will give destination mac amra kokhono destination er mac ta ki diye dei communicate korar shomoy dei na right destination ip ta ki diye dei na sir destination ip ip dei khali sir destination ip ta to amra diye dei right as a user jene hok na jene hok je facebook.com likhe enter dicche she hoyto jane na je facebook.com er ip ta dns amake ene dicche বাট আমরা এখন জানি যে ফেসবুক ডট কম দেওয়া মানেও আসলে আইপি দিয়ে দাও রাইট বিকজ দেয়ার ইজ ডিএনএস তাহলে সরাসরি যদি তুমি ফেসবুক ডট কম না লিখে তার আইপিটা দাও কাজ করবে জি স্যার করবে অবশ্যই করবে ভেরি গুড সো ডেফিনেটলি ইউজ অ্যাজ এ ইউজার উই গিভ দ্য ডেস্টিনেশন আইপি কোনো সন্দেহ নাই বাট ডেটা লিংক থেকে যখন যাবে তার আগেই ডেস্টিনেশন ম্যাকটা আমার জানতে হবে সেটাকে আমরা দিয়ে দেই সেটা আমরা দেই না বাট উইদাউট ডেস্টিনেশন ম্যাক ফ্রেম ক্যান নট বি সেন্ট থ্রু ফিজিক্যাল লেয়ার সো সবাই ক্লিয়ার কিনা দ্যাট ইজ দ্য প্রবলেম অ্যান্ড দ্য সলিউশন ইজ অ্যাড্রেস রেজলিউশন প্রোটোকল নাও উই শুড নো হাউ ডেস্টিনেশন ম্যাক ইজ নোন টু সেভেন ডট টোয়েন্টি থ্রি বাট এআর পি উইল ওয়ার্ক টু সেন্ড দ্য ডেস্টিনেশন ম্যাক টু দ্য machine requesting machine so that is address resolution protocol now how address resolution protocol works how to determine interfaces mac address knowing its ip address so what's the what's the question is finalized now as a user we give the destination ip but my machine needs to know the destination mac of that ip right that is the question now how to determine an a network interface card's mac address if we know the ip address of the destination question take clear okay. Yes, sir. okay so that is the question and the answer is arp and now we will know if question is clear the protocol is very simple if question is not clear protocol is not simple okay so the answer is arp and how arp works how arp works it will use a arp table so every node connected to the network by default uses arp we don't need to configure so that a node will use arp it is by default tumi jokhon ekta pc ke connect korcho dekho ekhane prottekta ekta arp table generate kore so each ip node it can be a host it can be a pc it can be a laptop it can be a server it can be a router that works network layer and above must use an arp table on the lan and the question is how this arp table is table is filled up using arp that is the question now so it will store the ip address and mac address mappings for some lan nodes like this ip address and then corresponding mac address and then a ttl ttl again is the time how much time the entry will be in the arp table so after the ttl expires the entry will be gone ekta node mane kore mone kore je ekta nirdishto shomoyer jonno shekhane kono communication hocche na tale she entry ta arp table e thakbe na it will be automatically deleted so that's the ttl but the basic thing is ip address and then corresponding mac address okay and uh, typical ttl is 20 minutes so if within 20 minutes there is no communication with that particular node that entry will be gone now how arp works how arp protocol works for example a wants to send datagram to b and initially b's mac address is not in a's arp table so it, it, it if you just connect a device just initializes a device then you must know 
there is no entry unless ARP has run. So for example, B's MAC address is not in the ARP's table. So A does not know what is the MAC address of B initially. ARP table is empty. Now what A will you do? A will use ARP to find B's MAC address. A will use the protocol. What A will do? See, initially empty. There is no entry in the A's ARP table for the MAC address of B. So what A will do? Step one. A will broadcast ARP query. So A, A, now keep in mind, our data frame is as it is. Data frame to prepare korte gye A deklo. Je data frame er modhe ki destination MAC ta nai. Abong destination MAC ta tar ARP table o nai. Then data frame jeta ase, sheta kintu as it is she rekhi dibe, okhane ta gap ase. Then ARP will create, sorry, A will create a ARP message. Eta ke bolche amra ARP query. And A will broadcast because A, A doesn't know who is B. Who is 7.14. So A will broadcast. Now this broadcast is layer 2 broadcast. This broadcast is not layer 3 broadcast. Okay. So this is layer 2 broadcast. That means... Uh, if all entries, all of the 48 bits are ones in MAC address, that will represent a broad, broadcast MAC address. How, how that is interpreted? Whenever a switch or any device receives that particular frame, it knows that it's a broadcast. So, Jodi Amrajani switch to the Motor Destination, a part high, a switch shabar kache pati. So that is the idea of broadcast in data link here. Clear? So A will create an ARP message and it will broadcast. How it will broadcast? It will put the destination MAC address as all if. All ones in 48 bits means all if in hexadecimal, right? Chakta binary bit jodi one hoy, that means F. So in hexadecimal, there will be 12 Fs. And 12 Fs will denote a destination address that is broadcast address. So ARP query always will have destination MAC as broadcast address. So that every node in the LAN will receive the ARP query. Okay. It goes to every node. So Ethernet frame source MAC is the MAC address of A as you can see, right? Source IP, IP address of A. Target IP, IP address of 7.14, IP address of B, in fact, 7.14. And then the destination MAC is, as you can see, F, 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 That is all Fs representing broadcast. Now it will be sent by the intermediate device. Maybe it is a switch. It will send to everybody, but only B will reply. Now it is also received by CND, but we are not showing CND because CND will discard. Why discard? Because in the ARP request, it will be said that, okay, who has IP 137, 196, 7.14, please send your MAC. So 7.14 is shate shabai match korbe. C dekbe, D dekbe, jen to 7.14 na. So they will not reply. Right? Clear? Logic? So B will reply and it will send uh, the reply back to the source. And then A will get the reply and then A will store the entry in the table. Clear? So very simple. That is the idea. Any question? A scenario ta hoche jokhon amra ekta segment within a network segment uh, jokhon ARP kaj korbe. Clear shobai? So judi same land er modhe thake. Right, definitely. A scenario ta hoche only in the same land. But if destination is in a different land, that is another question. Eta ta ami ekhon jachi, but eta clear shobar kache? Any question? But it am the poor hands on Kurbu next class. I'm looking to lag be okay. No question. That means it should be clear to all, right? 
okay now come back to the point in the previous example here we have only a one particular subnet right a single group so arp for arp when it broadcasts a frame that is received by everyone no problem right if once ip address matches you will reply with arp reply but what happens when the destination is beyond the network for example if you if you browse facebook.com or google.com or youtube.com then do i need to know the mac address of facebook server or google server that is the question eta ki dorkar hote pare by ta jodi sir eta ki possible ber kora exactly that is the point even if even if we do that that is not feasible why because in that case whenever facebook changes one lan card out of their thousand servers facebook needs to advertise that to all other hosts right is that possible but ip address definitely possible because there are some mechanisms to advertise ip address routing table but mac address er khetre eta ashole possible and fortunately we don't need that fortunately we will never require to know the mac address beyond a network now how that is possible you already know the term already tumra term ta jano onek bar bola hoyeche seta ki default gateway what is default gateway anyone default gateway hedayat रेजर मध्य that is the point whenever uh, the destination is in a different network doesn't matter whether the destination is very next to the router or it is after the 100 routers doesn't matter we have the mechanism of default gate destination jekhanei thakuk na ken host ki korbe source will send the packet to the default gateway simple so default gateway actually is one beautiful thing in network that makes our life easier that makes network easier so a host will only need to know whether or not the destination is in a different network but host doesn't need to know exactly how many routers is in the middle right jodi seta jante hoto it would have been much more complex but because of default gateway if the host says okay this is not within my network decision is not within my network just send to the router send okay that's it so in this case see the second case now first assume the destination is in a different network the destination is not within the source for example a is the source here and b is the destination as you can see b is in a different network there is a router in the middle but there could be 100 routers in the middle the case will be same because of default gateway so what will happen here a will not need to know the mac address of b never because what because a needs to forward only to router so a will need the mac address of home car mac address lagbe er any idea e jodi b ke pathate chay er car mac address lagbe router's mac address r a r a router's mac address because now tumra bolte paro router to host na router works like a host in some cases like router has ip address like in the interface similarly if router's interface is a lan connected to a lan then router's interface also will have a mac address so in this diagram 
there are two interfaces in the router connected to two different lands right two different subnets so you can know that each interface will have an ip address and each interface will have a corresponding what mac address so if a senses b is in a different network a knows that i have to send the packet to r i cannot send the packet to b directly i have to send the packet to r so a will need the mac address of router and c the router's interface is already connected to the same segment so if there is a switch in the middle that switches one port is connected to router so the previous case again happens here so what will happen here first router will sorry a source a has ip address corresponding mac address every interface has ip address corresponding mac address so router uh, host a will assume we will assume that a knows b's ip address definitely as we say communication starts with the destination ip and a knows ip address of first hop router how using default gateway right and a knows r's mac address how now answer r and mac address kibhabe janbe using arp right because we already know amra already dekhechi ekta segment er moddhe kibhabe janbe tar eta clear router's interface is connected to the same segment so eta to amra ekta example dekhlam okay any question okay or not okay sir uh, just because r tao eki lane er moddhe porse er jonno amra right 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 definitely tumra jokhon lab korcho ba jara lab korona mane ip addressing jokhon korcho na ektu age ke bolchila jeno je first ip ta amra dei saidul bolchila na ki first ip ta amra dei first ip ta kon range same network er range right so that means router's interface is part of the same network so part of the same network means what same segment same segment means what ARP works in a segment. ARP never works beyond segment. So router's interface is connected to A. So if A sends a ARP broadcast, router will also receive that, and then router will respond with its MAC address. A will know the router's MAC address. So that is ARP, right? Now, A will transfer the packet to router. See. Okay, now still it is in the network layer. You can see IP source one 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 all one and IP destination two 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 all two. So source is A, destination is B. Then see, it's come come to Ethernet. It it means Ethernet. That is actually data link layer protocol. As we, as I say, data link layer must must uh, complete the header with source IP. Sorry, source MAC and destination MAC. So MAC source is the source MAC of A, right? and mac destination is what mac of b ekhane destination mac kon ta hobe sir router it router it so see because beyond default gateway a host cannot send packet beyond default gateway so the mac destination mac will be router's mac still a must send a rp broadcast before filling up this ei je ami ekhane destination mac ta dicchi এটা আসলে এর কাছে প্রথমে ছিল না একটা এআরপি ব্রডকাস্ট চালানোর পরে এআরপি রিপ্লাই থেকে আসছে বাট সেটা যেহেতু অলরেডি আমরা আগের স্লাইডে দেখে ফেলছি আমরা অ্যাসিউম করে নিচ্ছি যে ইউজিং এআরপি এ অলরেডি নোজ দ্য ডেস্টিনেশন ম্যাক অফ আর সো হোয়াট এ নাও দ্য ফ্রেম ইজ রেডি নাও দ্য ফ্রেম ইজ সেন্ট টু রাউটার সি এনি কোশ্চেন সো ফার সো अगेन রাউটার রিসিভস দ্য ফ্রেম এন্ড দেন রাউটারস ডেটা লিংক লেয়ার উইল রিমুভ দ্য হেডার So it will be packet routers data link layer will hand over the packet to routers network layer routers network layer will decide to forward the packet to the network connected with other interface right now router needs to send the packet to b again router will work like a host so it will maintain a rp table if it does not contain b's mac address 
then router will send the ERP query to know it will broadcast and then B will send with response its own MAC address and then router will know the MAC address of B. The same thing happens. The same ERP protocol happens. See, now source and destination IP remain same. Because routers network layer will not change the IP header. But the Mac data link header will change. Now see, the source Mac will be who? Whose address will be the source Mac? Bolo? It's a router. Routers. Routers interface on the route side, not the interface on the right side, left side. Okay? So source Mac will be Mac address of the router's right side interface and destination MAC will be the MAC address of B. Okay, so router will forward the frame ultimately to B and then B will hand over the packet to A. Right? Is it clear? Any question? So that is how ARP works beyond networks. Even if there are 100 routers in the middle, no problem. ARP will work only within segments. Shall I keep clear? Yes, okay, ne next class, yes, sir. Hands on Bishkoite example, Kurbo, Ashakuri Tokonaro, clear. Uh, now, the last. Uh, topic possibly uh, no the last topic is an example uh, this is the uh, second final topic ethernet switch so how switch works we know switch is a link layer device right it can store and forward frames and we also know switch selectively forward frame to one or more outgoing links if it knows uh, the destination mac connected to its interface it will only forward the frame to a particular destination and that's why switch is more efficient because simultaneous connections can happen in switch. Now, our question is how switch generates its own MAC table and then how switch efficiently forwards the frames to only the destination. And also switch is transparent. Transparent means host unaware of presence of switches. So switch will add nothing. Switch will change nothing. So if host A sends to host B, the same frame will reach host B through the switch, but switch will only forward the frame to the correct destination without changing anything. So it is transparent to the host and it is plug and play and self-learning. Self-learning means within some time, switch will generate its MAC table and using the MAC table, it will send the data to correct destination. For example, switch can support multiple simultaneous transmissions. How? As you can see in the diagram, there is a switch with four interfaces or ports, one, two, three, four, five, six, and connected to six different devices, A, B, C, and then A prime, B prime, C prime. Okay. Now, for example, uh, a sends uh, a frame to A prime and simultaneously B sends to a, a frame to B prime and they can transmit simultaneously. Even if the destination is same, still there will be no collisions because switch has a structure internally, physical structure in such a way it can transmit simultaneously. Now how? Let us see. It says A to A prime and C to A prime cannot happen simultaneously. Actually, it cannot happen simultaneously, but still it will not create any collision. Jokon destination eki hobe, jokon destination eki hobe, tokon ashole she Q use kore, memory buffer. So destination eki hoa maniki. Je duita packet asche eki destination e. Akshonge to she pathate parbe na, tokon she Q to kore. But still, there will be no collision. Delay will be more, but without any collision. Now, for example, how does switch know 
a prime reachable via interface 4 you can see a prime is connected to interface 4 b prime b prime is connected to interface 5 but initially there is no information to switch but within a very short time switch will learn how switch will learn how switch will learn uh, each switch has a switch table we call a mac table okay so it will be mac address of the host and then the corresponding interface and as it is it is a, there is a time stamp like ttl looks like a routing table but it's not a routing table a routing table works in a router in a network layer uh, forwarding table of switch works in the data link layer now, how the entries are created and maintained in switch table. Let us see. Basically, switch learns which host can be reached through which interfaces. Okay. For example, there is a frame where source is A, destination is A prime. Destination is A prime. Now, see what happens. For example, there is no entry in the switch. Switch knows nothing. So whenever switch receives, see switch switch table is initially empty. Just assume that switch is just switched on. So whenever the frame is received by the switch, see it receives through interface one. So it is very easy for the switch to decide, okay, I have received a frame in interface one where source address is A, so definitely MAC address of A is connected to my interface one, right? So it will put an entry that A is connected to my interface one because it has received the frame from A through interface one. That is how it works. Now, who is the destination? A prime, right? Is there any entry about A prime in the table? No, sir. No. So what switch will do? So in the first few cases, switch will work like hub because it has no information about the destination it will flat the frame to all nodes because it has no information so what it will do it will sorry it's uh, it will add and then it will cut see so it actually sends the frame to all nodes because there was no entry so initially for the first few times switch will work like this but within a few seconds switch will create its own mac table and after that it will only send to a particular destination now let us assume uh, a prime sends a reply right now source is a prime whenever switch receives this reply frame through port 4 again it can decide okay a prime is connected to my port number 4 okay so same logic now who is the destination a right is a known to switch yes or no yes sir yes so now it will only selectively send on just one link because in the table it knows okay a is connected to interface one so this is a very good example to know how switch works but it depends on number of entries and number of uh, number of uh, nodes connected to a switch and number of entries in the MAC table uh, to see how long it takes to generate the table and act accordingly. So similarly, if we can see many more examples, it will work the same way. For example, B jodi akun B prime ke kono B B prime ke na B jodi A prime ke kono frame part hai, right source is b and destination is a prime uh, tahole amader duta step amader ke decide korte hobe ek number step ki any change in the mac table is there any change in the mac table ek number decision second decision where and how switch will forward for any case decision tale duta tale b jodi a prime ke pathay tale kono change hobe table e No, sir. 
বি যদি এ প্রাইম কে পাঠায় তাহলে কিন্তু দুই নাম্বার ইন্টারফেসে ফ্রেমটা সুইচ রিসিভ করবে টেবিলে কি দুই নাম্বার ইন্টারফেস বি এর ইনফরমেশন আছে না স্যার দুই নাম্বারে নাই তাহলে চেঞ্জ হবে না টেবিলে স্যার ফারস্টে তো সবগুলোর ম্যাক অ্যাড্রেস পেয়ে গেল সুইচ না কই কখন পেয়েছে আমরা তো এইটুকু পর্যন্ত পেয়েছি এ এ প্রাইম একটা ফ্রেম পাঠানোর আগে সুইচের পাওয়ার কোনো সুযোগ নাই সুতরাং এখন যে অবস্থায় আছে তাতে সুইচের কাছে শুধু এ আর এ প্রাইম জানা আছে রাইট সেই জন্য আমি বললাম যদি এ অবস্থায় বি থেকে একটা ফ্রেম এ প্রাইমে আসে সোর্স বি ডেস্টিনেশন এ প্রাইম তাহলে সুইচের টেবিলে কোনো চেঞ্জ হবে কিনা ভেরি সিম্পল বি যে দুই নাম্বার ইন্টারফেসে কানেক্টেড সেটা কি আছে সুইচের কাছে ইনফরমেশন স্যার চেঞ্জ হবে বি এর টা আসবে আবার ওইটাই ওইটাই যখনই সে দেখবে যে আই হ্যাভ রিসিভড এ ফ্রেম ইন পোর্ট নাম্বার 2 কাত থেকে রিসিভ করছে বি থেকে তাহলে সেই এন্ট্রিটা কি টেবিলে আছে ইয়েস অর নো ভেরি সিম্পল টেবিলে আছে কিনা না স্যার বি এর এন্ট্রি নাই সেটাই আছে কিনা নাই তাহলে যদি না থাকে তাহলে অ্যাড হবে না জি স্যার দ্যাট ইজ দা ফার্স্ট কন্ডিশন ফার্স্ট কোশ্চেন মানে তুমি যখন পরীক্ষা যদি কোশ্চেনও আসে যে suppose these are the actions b sends a prime b sends b prime b prime sends c erokom action gulo diye ami bolbo what are the changes and the actions the first thing is change in the table so definitely there will be change ki add hobe b and then 2 right ttl you can assume anything ekhane 60 dhorche anything fine so b 2 will be added and then what will be the action flat or selectively ডি only to interface 4 okay now another example uh, a sends c prime a sends c prime again two action change in the table and forwarding option so a jodi c prime ke ekta frame send kore table e kono change hobe yes or no কারণ কি কারণ ওই ফ্রেমটা এখান দিয়ে আসছে সেই জন্য সে জানে সোর্স ইস কানেক্টেড টু দিস ইন্টারফেস কিন্তু যেখান দিয়ে আমি পাঠাবো সেটা সে কেমনে জানবে সি প্রাইম যে ছয়ের সাথে কানেক্টেড এটা সে কেমনে জানবে কোন উপায় আছে বাট যখন তার এক নাম্বার কোন একটা ইন্টারফেস দিয়ে ইন হবে তখন সে জানবে সো এ ইজ কানেক্টেড টু ওয়ান সেটাই সে জানবে বাট ইট ইজ অলরেডি ইন দ্য টেবিল বাট কত নাম্বার ইন্টারফেসে পাঠাতে হবে সি প্রাইম কি আছে টেবিলে ছিল হ্যাঁ বলো স্যার ফার্স্টে যখন এ এ প্রাইম কে ডেটা পাঠাবে তখন স্যার এ যখন তার সোর্স ম্যাকটা দিয়ে সুইচের কাছে পাঠালো তখন তো স্যার সুইচ ব্রডকাস্ট করে সবার কাছেই পাঠালো রাইট তখন স্যার সবাই রিপ্লাই দাও আচ্ছা সবাই কি নো 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 এখানে আবার খেয়াল করতে হবে এটা কি প্রোটোকল এটা কি এআরপি না এটা হচ্ছে একটা ডেটা ফ্রেম পাঠাচ্ছে দেখো অ্যানাদার एग्जांपल হোয়াই উই नीड ম্যাক অ্যাড্রেস হোয়াই উই नीड ম্যাক অ্যাড্রেস এ যখন এ প্রাইমকে ফ্রেমটা পাঠালো এবং যেহেতু এ প্রাইমটা সুইচের কাছে জানা নেই সে সবাইকে পাঠালো তারপরে কে রিসিভ করবে বলো তো আচ্ছা এ প্রাইম রিসিভ করবে বাকিরা কি করবে রিপ্লাই পাঠাবে না ডিসকার্ড করবে জি স্যার বুঝতে পারছি ডিসকার্ড করবে স্যার কারণ আইপি এর ডিসকার্ড সাথে ম্যাচ করে না না আমি একটু আমি একটু আবার ডেসক্রাইব করলাম জিনিসটা যাতে অন্যরা যে তোমার কোশ্চেনটা এটা ভেরি গুড কোশ্চেন অন্যরা যাতে জিনিসটা বুঝে অ্যাকচুয়ালি ইট ডিপেন্ডস অন দ্য প্রোটোকল যখন আমরা এআরপি পড়ছিলাম তখন আমরা বলছি রিপ্লাইটা আসবে বাট এখন আমরা একটা ডাটা ফ্রেম পাঠাচ্ছি দিস ইজ নট ব্রডকাস্ট 
but switch broadcast korte because switch does not know the destination that's why so it's a it's a unicast message so only a prime will receive others will discard they will not receive but or point ta koi valid chilo je ora jodi reply pathay in fact arp er khetre actually arp table is generated by that way shorashori hoyto she request kore nai kintu reply ta jokhon asche shetar madhyome o she jene geche eta arp te hoy but ekhane to reply shobai pathabe na ekhane shudhu jake pathaise she reply pathabe but jodi pathato or point ta thik ache je c prime but shobai jodi pathato tale to ekta end e ekta yetei ashole mane tomar round e generate hoye jeto but ekhane matro 6 ta node ekhon jodi 2000 node thake tumi bolba mac table ta ekbare fill up hoye geche subidha ar ami bolbo network er obostha ki hobe every time everybody will respond ki hobe wastage of bandwidth so that is another issue jao unicast er khetre there is no uh, response automatically only the receiving node will send a response and in case of mac table only if switch receives in a particular port then it knows okay now back to our uh, back to our uh, example a sends to a prime a sends to a prime any change in the table yes or no any no, change sir. to the table no actually a connected to one already in the table so no change and c prime connected to six no way switch can know that because there is no uh, re response yet and then second step is action what will be the action flooding or selectively send so selectively send is c prime known to switch no sir it does a flooding away right definitely flooding simple if destination information is not in the mac table flooding if destination information is in the mac table selectively send just two options not more than two options so c prime is not known to switch yet that's why the action will be flooding now if c prime sends a response to a any change in the table yes sir tell us c prime yet very good c prime connected to 6 will be added to the table that is the action that is the change in the table and what will be the action flood or selectively send sir selectively send selectively send right ওকে আমি মনে ডিসকানেক্ট হয়ে গেছিলাম না জি স্যার জি স্যার এতক্ষণ কিছু শোনা যায়নি ওকে 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 সো आवर एग्जांपल वाज ए टू ए प्राइम राइट ওকে এ টু এ টু সি প্রাইম সো এ টু সি প্রাইম তো শোনা গেছে রাইট এ টু সি প্রাইম देयर इज नो चेंज इन द টেবিল বিকজ এ কানেক্টেড টু ওয়ান ইজ অলরেডি ইন দ্য টেবিল and action was flooding because c prime was not in the table now when c prime sends back the response any change to the table yes c prime is connected to 6 will be added to the table and what will be the action selectively sent or flooding so selectively sent we right because a is already known to the switch so it will only send to port number 1 so i think all the combinations are already done so in next class we will see an example how switch le uh, self learning works and uh, forwards frames according to the mac table any other question in this example
Okay, so the last part of this, uh, our lecture is a, a example that uh, describes a day in the life of a web request. So how web request is performed using the protocols we have already studied through our journey in this course so far. I'll not go to very much details now. These are all known. Just you can see this is the scenario where probably from UIU network, you are using the Wi-Fi, using your uh, laptop, and then you browse to google.com. And then how Google's page is shown in my browser, using this example, we will review all the well-known protocols like this. Sounds very simple, but first, we need to get an IP address using DHCP, how it happens, describe here. Then DHCP, through DHCP, your laptop gets an IP address. And after that, you actually get connection to internet. So this is just for IP address. Then we need DNS because you said, okay, google.com, it must be converted to IP address. So we used uh, DNS. To get the IP address, you need to send the request to the DNS server that is beyond our network. So you, you have to use ARP. And how ARP worked, shown here. And then when ARP is done, then it knows the default gateway MAC address. Then it sends the DNS query to the DNS server that is in the ISP's network. And then the ISP DNS server will reply with IP address. And only then the HTTP request will be created. Now, for HTTP, a TCP connection must be set up. Already we have implemented, uh, uh, learned that. So TCP, after TCP connection is established, then a HTTP request is sent to the Gmail ser uh, Google web server. And then after receiving the request, a G Google web server responses with the corresponding file, HTML file, and then only our browser displays right so any protocol we did not study in this course so far protocol so you have to review this example porikhay a example theke question okay okay so that is end of our theoretical syllabus uh wednesday class i'm lucky to hands on example kurba shakuri besh kichu and then uh, the last class 17th sunday we'll have an exam class test number five and after the class test the floor will be open for any type of discussion and uh about our syllabus and about any topic so any question Sir, HTTP or HTTPS, do you same way to catch it? Same HTTPS actually adds a new layer between HTTP and TCP. So, I just have to do this. The HTTP, HTTP, do you catch it? TCP, TCP, do you catch it? Match can act a layer that is encrypted or decrypted. It is a secure socket layer or transaction level security. Jara network course korba, uh, network security course korba, tara ita bhalo bhavi shikba. Uh, but shake it to HTTP moto at TCP TCP moto at the match can get to security at hotse say you know the home state HTTPS with it. Sir CDM is CD net question chilo. CSM is CD have a sir. Sir, when I can sir money and channel to idle the cloth on side full frame to transmit corridor. Sir, talk on to this are actor to hone on a dure. Note take a hon show my next day transmit code bay frame track. Tokons are all detected. Colo, Arjun asked the Tonsar transmit got a bondo corridor. 
বন্ধ করার সময় স্যার যেটা অলরেডি ট্রান্সমিট হয়ে গেছে ওটা স্যার চ্যানেলের মধ্যে থেকে গেল না এটা তো না 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 ওইটা 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 লস্ট ফরএভার যখন তোমার একটা দুইটা সিগন্যাল ড্যামেজ হয়ে গেল ওই সিগন্যালকে রিকভার করার কোনো ওয়ে নাই কারণ এটা তো রিসিভ করবে একদম রিসিভিং নোড রাইট এখন যে সেন্ডিং নোড সেই দেখলো আমার সিগন্যাল ড্যামেজ কোনো ভাবেই এটাকে রিকভার করার কোনো ওয়ে নাই দ্যাট ইজ দা প্রবলেম উইথ কলিশন দ্য ওনলি ওয়ে ইজ টু রিট্রান্সমিট দ্য এন্টায়ার ফ্রেম এগেইন কারণ এটা ফিজিক্যাল লেয়ার ফিজিক্যাল লেয়ারে কোনো কিছু যদি তোমার ওভারল্যাপিং হয়ে যায় তুমি সেটাকে রিকভার করবা কি করে ইট ইজ রেদার প্রিভেন্ট তো প্রিভেন্টের জন্য বিভিন্ন মেকানিজম আছে যেটা আমি বললাম আর ওয়্যারলেসে হচ্ছে কলিশন এভয়েড এভয়েডেন্স একটা ফর্মুলা আছে বাট কলিশন ডিটেকশনে ইট মাস্ট অ্যালাউ কলিশন অ্যান্ড দেন ইট ওয়ার্কস লাইক দিস যেটা ড্যামেজ হয়ে গেছে সেই এন্টায়ার ফ্রেমটাই ড্যামেজ হয়ে যাবে দ্যাটস ওয়াই সে আসলে যখনই কলিশনটা ডিটেক্ট করবে তখনই স্টপ করে দিবে আর কলিশন রিকভারি যেটা সেটা আসলে আমরা স্টাডি করি নাই এটা আমরা সিলেবাসে রাখি নাই এটা আগে ছিল এটা এই ইয়ের সময় আমরা এই যে প্যান্ডেমিক সিচুয়েশন আমরা সিলেবাসটাকে একটু আমরা আসলে স্কুইজ করেছি তো সেই কারণে আমরা কিছু কিছু টপিক আসলে বাদ দিয়েছি যেগুলো হয়তো না হলেও আমার নেটওয়ার্কিং অ্যাটলিস্ট কমপ্লিট নলেজ হবে সো সিএসএম এস সিডি ওই সেকেন্ড পার্টটা যেটা রিকভারি মেকানিজম এটাকে বলে বাইনারি ব্যাক অফ সেটা আমরা আসলে সিলেবাসে রাখি নাই সো দ্যাটস ওয়াই আর কি ওটা আমি তোমাদেরকে করাই নেই বাট আইডিয়াটা দিয়েছি আর কি ওকে ক্লিয়ার জি স্যার বুঝতে পারছি Okay, please put down your uh, ID and name in message box. Then you can Sorry, leave. Sir, we have a homework that we have done. Sir, what are you doing? I don't know what I'm doing. I'm going to do it today. 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 Okay, what are you doing? Sir, it's a good job. সাফাত তুমি আমাকে একটা মেইল করবা সুন্দর পরে ওকে জি স্যার রিমাইন্ডার মেইল বাই চান্স ইফ আই ফরগেট अगेन তুমি আমাকে একটা মেইল করবা আমি অবশ্যই আজকের মধ্যে এটা আপলোড করে দিব এবং আমি তোমাদের যেটা বললাম 17th এর যে एग्जामটা সেটা সিলেবাসটাই মেইনলি রাখব প্লাস রাউটিং অ্যালগরিদমস যাতে রাউটিং অ্যালগরিদম তোমাদের প্র্যাকটিস হয়ে যায় খুব বড় অ্যাসাইনমেন্ট আমি দিব না এবং ডেডলাইনটা আমি 18 পর্যন্ত দিয়ে রাখব ঠিক আছে ওকে জি স্যার ओके ओके ठीक है ताले मैसेज बॉक्स से आईडी गुलो दिए यू कैन लीव जी सर लिख सी सर सर सिटी मार्क्स वाला कितना दे होइसे सर सिटी कौनटा ओ जे गतकालेटा जी सर गतकालेटा देखे फेलबो तुम्हारे इंशाल्लाह नेक्स्ट क्लास रे आगे बुधवार आगे पे जाबा ओके आल्ला हाफिज तेल सबाई भलो थे नेक्स्ट क्लास देखा इनशाला